Hello, it is 9.15 on a Sunday. What is the actual day? The 24th. Oh, I gotta get the dogs to sleep and take meds. Um, and I wasn't going to vlog just because I literally just did, or I just, I was like gonna give myself a break, but um, I feel like there's a, like I have a lot to show you and I just feel motivated, so we're gonna try it. And this hair is looking crazier and crazier as we go on. So it is Sunday, it's 9.15, so um, I'm gonna show you kind of like a what I eat in a day, which I always do. And then also just, there's a lot of like other things that honestly I just want to document for myself. It makes me feel like more productive. Um, a lot of like house things that I want to get to. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. The things that I for sure want to do, I always make a list, is go to church. Um, and then we uh, bathe the dogs, put away all of my summer clothes, which of course on the day that I want to put away these summer clothes like it turned 40 degrees today so now I'm like unmotivated but I just want to like you know put away what I have so I can see I feel like it's such a, a I don't know I feel like I don't know if everybody feels like this when they're pregnant and not that I like feel it's just hard to like put together outfits that I feel confident in not because I don't feel confident in my body just because like things don't fit and so it's like I'm wearing things that I wouldn't normally wear that I don't really like because it's like the only thing that really fits around my stomach so not that I want to buy a whole bunch of stuff, but I do just like want to see what I have because I think I might have more summer clothes that will work and then I can just evaluate like, do I need to just buy like dresses? Like what do I really need to buy? And it's also like, it's hot here. Like it was in Texas, but it's a different heat. It's like a, you know, a really humid heat. So I don't know, but anyway, that's on the agenda. Um, and then I would like to buy more plants uh, if possible. I don't know. That's like a possibility. I need to like not make, I try to, my therapist says just make three absolute things that you want to do every day. And then that way, if you do more, then you feel more accomplished. So I'm going to put the buy more plants as a possibility. Um, so the for sure three things go to church, bathe the dogs cause they're stinky and put away my clothes, which I feel like the clothes is like a big endeavor. Cause I also got to remove all the winter clothes and then figure out where to put them because I feel like this house has no storage. Um, as far as like any updates, so I am at uh, uh, 17 weeks today. Tomorrow I'll be 18 weeks. Um, and there's still, I don't feel like a, like, bomb. let me see, you can, like you're on a pile of clothes. I just feel like I, just don't feel this it's in the morning so i haven't eaten a whole lot i mean i feel like i can you know tell at night after i've eaten but for right now it's just like the phase of like my super tight jeans don't fit in the morning so there's something growing in there it's just like i don't feel like i look obviously pregnant even when i like don't have clothes on so um i just feel like i look bloated but um i am trying to since i last talked to you i feel like all of the nausea is pretty much gone. Yeah, like I was even just like having nausea at night, but that's even left. I feel like I'm like pretty much back to normal. Like I will have random days where I get really bad nausea, but all in all, I feel like I feel like back to normal. I feel like my energy level is pretty high. I feel like I'm not even pregnant anymore. Um, I have been having some like pains, which I asked the doctor about and she said that they're probably just like ligament pains because they're very specific, sharp, and they're only like, 20 seconds and they'll be like just like random areas like especially like down under my like what I feel like is the baby or like up here like it feels like a side stitch so I'm trying not to like do too much at once and she said just to stay hydrated uh what else updates I don't I also want to film today because it's a weekend day and I feel like a lot of my clients really struggle on the weekends and it is just me and David today. I want to try to film in a couple weeks. I think I have a really chaotic day. So I want to try to film that day if possible. But today, I don't really know what we'll get into. I don't know. Sometimes we go out to eat after church. But we also have a lot of food here that we just need to eat. So I'm hoping I can convince him to come back here. But I don't know where we'll eat, so I don't have a plan. Um, yeah, I don't really have a, light, a plan for any eating today. I mostly just like, want to get a lot of chores done. So we will see. Um... And I think that's a, this might be like a kind of a chaotic vlog, vlog, but I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit more like house stuff and we'll just like see what we get into it. I'll definitely highlight things that I've eaten. So I have already eaten 
um, the cereal. So I had Raisin Bran and banana in the Raisin Bran. And then I did walk to a coffee shop. It's like my favorite part of the day and got a hot latte, a hot vanilla latte. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I wish I could have more than one a day. I could probably try to dabble with decaf, but isn't there also like a little caffeine in decaf coffee? So it's probably just like a good habit for me to get into post-pregnancy too, to just like not have that many and just like let it be that part of the day. And then we move on with our day, but oh, it's so good. But um, that's all I've had. I want to make a like avocado toast before I leave for church because church is like late. It's like 1130 to 1230. Um, but that, that's a really long intro. Um, I'm going to try to do some clothes and then wash the dogs before we go to church. So let's do that. Okay, I'm making a, um, it's a, it's like a little bit later, I changed my outfit because it like gets significantly warmer here throughout the day. I put makeup on, we need to leave for church in about 20 minutes. So I'm making a um, avocado toast. I just kind of like got into this habit when I was needing to eat more like small frequent meals. Um, when I was having nausea and just trying to get calories in and I don't know, it's, it's nothing that I used to do. So I, I like debating like taking it away just because it's like, it's like a, it's extra calories, but I don't know. I feel like I consider this and the cereal to kind of be my like superfood vitamins because when I don't eat this, it's really hard for me to get in enough fiber. Um, it helps me to get in a little bit more fruits and vegetables. I get a ton of protein with this combo. So although it's weird that I wake up, have cereal, then a little bit later I have like this avocado toast situation. Um, I just kind of consider it like my vitamins, I guess. Um, so I do, I do seedy bread. So if I didn't do like seedy bread, then I wouldn't get as much fiber. I think there's something like eight grams of fiber in two of these slices. <clears throat> and then there's a lot of fiber in the avocado. Fiber is really important for like regularity of your gut. And it also helps like <coughs> going to the bathroom with that. Um, it also helps you to stay full. Uh, I notice on days where I eat the same amount of calories but don't do as much fiber, I don't stay as full and I end up just wanting so much food throughout the day. So for me, doing more fiber is really important. Uh, you also get a lot of potassium with avocados. And then I'm gonna put two fried eggs, like one fried egg on each one for protein and just like savoriness. And I'm not like super, I just maybe try to like smash it all over the bread as best I can to kind of like, I feel like it's like butter. It doesn't really smooth out very well, you know? Then we have, oh, I need to put my seasoning first. I got this avocado uh, topping, I guess they call it, from this brand, Just Spices. Um, and I actually really, really like it. I think I might <laughs> order more. Uh, it's like a little different than the everything but the avocado seasoning from Trader Joe's. Um, they sent a whole bunch of spices and like, they were like, okay. They weren't like spices that I use a lot. Um, but I really like this one. I just like the flavor. It's got a lot more like extra stuff that tastes good. Chili peppers, pink peppercorns. And then I'll do my egg on top. One of the eggs broke. So it's pretty much like a fried hard egg and fried regular egg. So here we go. I have, I also add a cup of, uh, fresh, I try to add some sort of cup of fruit, which is definitely an improvement from when I was doing like the 180 calorie Yo Crunch yogurt. So this helps cut down on calories and it's still sweet. And then I have my super filling and savory avocado egg toast. Okay, so I ate lunch. We went to church, I forgot my phone. We went to church and then came back any lunch we debated if we were going going out to eat or not but i feel like we're i feel like we're trying to implement a rule that's like let's just go out to eat two times a week and we went out to eat friday 
and Saturday. So just for like budgeting and um, overall like healthfulness. I feel like even if I pick a healthy meal when I eat out, it's always higher calorie or bigger portion than what it would be when I if I eat it at home. So although it's not like super fun, um, we just came back and ate here. And plus it's like, I really need to get the clothes done because it's like all over the bed. Um, and sometimes like going out to eat really exhausts me and then you never know like how long they're gonna take and stuff like that. So um, we just came back. But I also procrastinated a little bit on the clothes um, to make my groceries. I'm trying to go to the grocery store on the weekdays. Uh, I just like would rather do like other stuff with David because he works so much during the week. So on the weekend, he doesn't like going to the grocery store. So I'd rather just do something else with him and preserve my time to go do stuff, to go to the grocery store on the weekdays. So I'm, I went ahead and made my list. And I, the way that I make my list is I, sometimes like I'll proactively like the next week, if there's like something that's inspiring or something, I'll like mark it down. Or if there's like an ingredient I want to use, which I don't think I use, I'm going to use either of these, but maybe tomato paste will stay good for a while. Um, I will, uh, like put it down, but I feel like uninspired this week. So I just was like going through all my cookbooks, going through like recipes, trying to find some things, um, trying to like cook seasonally because we're getting into spring. But basically the seasonal items for spring are like asparagus and peas, which I literally already did. It's like all we were in radishes, I guess. But like, so what I decided to make is I'm going to make, I try to maybe put like a variety of like expensive, complicated, I mean like uh, maybe more pricey, complicated, and then like very easy. So salmon patties, if you live in the South, you know, um, David always thinks they're so fancy. Uh, he thinks they're like crab cakes, but it's literally just like canned salmon with breadcrumbs and an egg and I think mayonnaise or something. And then you like fry it. Uh, super easy and I like always keep the stuff on hand so I'm gonna make that and then I have frozen okra for my uncle so a very like southern meal and then I did find this uh, spring pea salad in a salad cookbook that I can link that I have um, and then we have we just basically like I make lunch and then we eat leftovers the next day since there's just two of us that ends up working so then lunch for the next day, we really want to eat pizza today, but I was like, what if I just make pizza this week? So I'm going to make this like vegetarian pizza that I found online. Um, and then also going to do like side salads with it. Then I really have been wanting, like every time I go out to eat like sushi, I always want to get the yakisoba too. And yakisoba really isn't that bad, especially if you amp up the amount of vegetables in it. So I'm going to make yakisoba, but that's the thing that is like, oh, there's, this is not normally my grocery list just for like four freaking meals for the week. Um, but a lot of these I think are like the yakisoba ingredients cause it's like something that takes a lot of ingredients. So we'll see, I'm gonna have to like run around and get like all the ingredients as well. We'll decide about edamame that we already have. So that's good. And then uh, my last meal that I'm gonna put on here is meatloaf. Cause after these three meals, I was like, I just need something easy. And meatloaf is like easy and cheap and a side vegetable. And I'm gonna hope that I have some like leftover vegetables from maybe this yakisoba or something that I can throw together or even just like a side salad. And then I've learned to pretty much just plan four meals a week. We are going out of town for Easter next weekend, so I don't need to like plan for the weekend. But um, sometimes I don't eat the dinner or like David ends up going to like get something because he doesn't want what we <laughs> make or something. So I've just learned to just make four meals until that doesn't work anymore. Um, and that's it. But if you have any questions, I can always expand. But now I need to do all the clothes. Ugh. I'm like so tired but I'm like not really like I'm more so just like don't want to do anything tired so I told myself I just need to get through the clothes and I would like to like plant the plants which I don't think will take that much effort I'm not going to buy any more plants today and then I would like to go on a w-a-l-k with the dogs I heard it right there and he'll freak out if I say it later on because I have not done any exercise today because this was my priority I tried just do my strength training on weekdays because weekends just like totally throws me out of rhythm. But I would at least like to go on a walk. Uh, so we'll see. I'm just like kind of sleepy. But I think I just like need to power through and I can like go to bed at 8 30 if I really want to.
okay, I got a lot of that done. And um, I just really want something sweet. I'm trying to fight it, but I just don't want to. These bananas are already kind of going bad, and I was just going to have cauliflower. But I just really don't want to, and I'm just not. <laughs> I probably will, like, not want to be very proud of this, but I'm just going to have some Nutella in this. At least it's not, like, just a piece of cake. I am at least having fiber. It is at least, like, me eating at home so I can control the portion size and stuff like that. But it would be better if I had a vegetable, I think. Because I've only had like two vegetables today. Um, but I'm gonna have this. I might have roasted cauliflower later, but this might be my last little meal snack of the day. Well, that was like unsatisfying for sure. I don't know why the Nutella like wasn't really hitting like I wanted it to. Um, so now I guess I will. Like wondering if I should just like power through. I'm just trying not to eat, like power through, not eating. I feel like I've already eaten a lot of food today. That lasagna is like a lot of calories. Um, but I'm also like not trying to be hungry throughout pregnancy. But we are going on a walk. I don't know, I'll just keep you updated.